welcome again in this video i will give you an idea about the bore strategy and the drilling strategy so here So here I want to make a counter bore here and then I will drill this hole and then I will apply the tapping operation. That is the process. So first one that is the bore. I will select the bore strategy. I will select the bore strategy then I will select the tool that is flat end mill then I will select this then go to the geometry and then I will select this here there is an option called select same diameter then the software automatically selected the second hole this hole all other values default values then I will click OK then I will use the simulate button. Okay. So that was about the bore. So here you can see this is the bore strategy. Then I will go with the drilling strategy. Drill, I will select this drill. Then I will select this. Go to library and select new. Here you can see the hole making. So I from this hole making option, I will select this drill. And I will change the diameter. So the diameter is 10. I will change the diameter into 8. Sorry, not 8. I will change the diameter into 5. And the fluke length to 22. I will click the accept button here here this is the tool diameter is 5 and the type is drill and the fluke length is 22 I will select this then go to the geometry option and then I will select this hole and then I will select the select same diameter option so when I will select that same diameter option, the next hole automatically selected. Then go to a height tab and I will activate this drill tip through bottom. So when this, this is enabled, the tool tip will drill past the bottom of the hole. So here in the second figure, you can see left side unchecked and the right side checked. So when this option is enabled, the tool tip will drill past the bottom of the hole. And I will enter the breakthrough depth to 1 hour. breakthrough depth is breakthrough depth means uh, specifies how far the lip of the tool drills past the bottom of the hole to ensure a clean cut through the part so here I will enter the breakthrough depth as 1 mm then I will click OK then and I will go to the actions, sorry, go to the action simulator. Okay, so once again. So 
first is counter boring then after that the two holes okay you can see two holes okay then the next is the tapping option again i will go to the drilling then i will select the tool go to the library i will select the new tool hole making you can see tap left hand and tap right hand so i will select this tap right hand and i will change this diameter into 6 mm and the fluke length to 15 mm and adjust the spindle speed to 400 rpm then i will click ok accept so here this is the tool tap right hand i will click this and select then here you can see tool number 6 5 6 into 1 mm right tap then select the geometry i will select here select same diameter cycle type as right tapping so here left tapping right tapping so i will select the right tapping option i will click ok ok then i will go to actions and generate all the operations then i will click the simulate So the first one that is the boring once again. This is the counter bore. Then the second is the drilling. And the last one that is the tapping. Go to actions post process lin fanuk post actions generate. Then go to post process. Yeah, here you can see this is the boring counter boring code. Then Yeah. And this is the yeah, here. This is the drilling code. Okay, and finally you can see the tapping code. Okay. Then then I will go to the setup sheet. Here, this is the setup sheet. Number of operations. Okay. So here, 
yeah there is some problem okay so. yeah don't worry you just uh, uh, We just try this uh, these three strategies that is uh, bore strategy then drilling strategy and a tapping strategy thank you